Hey guys, how are you doing? It's Marla. Hopefully for all of you who celebrated Thanksgiving, you had a wonderful, safe Thanksgiving with lots of turkey or whatever you eat for Thanksgiving. Maybe you went vegetarian. That's a great way to go too. Um, as you know, those of you who read my blog, you know I've been basically in a fairly mummified state the past few days watching old classic movies. And I decided today to be a little bit more productive and do a really quick review on a product that I've been using probably for two months now, I think, every day. I, love, I really do like this product. There are some things about it that I wish could be changed, but overall, it's probably not, I would say, four, four out of five stars. Four and a half stars if you're younger, probably three and a half to four stars if you're older, a little bit older like me with more mature skin. I'm 52 and I do have lines around my eyes that a lot of products seem to want to just settle into for some reason. But the product I'm going to talk about today is the uh, Bobbi Brown Corrector. I've tried a lot of different peach kind of salmon colored correctors, but I really didn't kind of care for them. And um, usually, normally, I would wear kind of a yellow base corrector under my eye and put the concealer over it. But the problem with that is I always looked really ashy looking or I looked a little bit raccoon-like um, because of it. And I just never could find, you know, something that just kind of looked very natural under my eyes that um, didn't kind of give me that white look under there. So when I saw this Bobbi Brown corrector, I thought, hmm, you know, that may be a good bet, something good to try. This is $23. It's great because it comes in 12 shades. They have the peach range, which are kind of like the bisques. They're kind of the pinky based um, undertones, and it goes all the way down into the peachy based undertones. Now, I would recommend you do not order this over the internet unless you actually go in there and try it on because um, the internet can be a little deceiving with the colors and the color you think you would be, you may not be. Because if I would have ordered the color I was thinking about ordering over the internet, it would have been the wrong color. I ended up getting peach. I'll show you what this looks like. I took a picture of it, which probably is gonna give you a little bit better idea of what it, uh, the color looks like. But I got the peach. So that is sort of what the peach looks like. And as you can see, the size of the, the corrector is pretty much the size of a, almost the size of a quarter. <laughs> so you don't get a lot of product in here for $23, but you really don't need to use a ton of this anyway. And it's kind of marketed for people that really do have very dark circles. It's supposed to neutralize the dark circles and give you kind of extra coverage. And it also can be used for layering. So you can put this on first and then put your yellow based concealer on top of it. So what I'm gonna do is, I have this on right now, and you can still see just a little bit of an outline, obviously. I don't think there's anything really that's gonna to totally eradicate those dark circles, but this really does a halfway decent job. Now before I get into the pictures that I took of this on my face, the one thing I do wanna say is, it really is a very nice product, especially for younger girls who don't have a lot of lines and wrinkles under their eyes and you know don't have products that like to migrate into those lines and wrinkles. My only gripe about this product is it is kind of a pasty consistency, thick and pasty. So what I ended up doing is I kind of use my finger, I use um, my ring finger and just kind of swirl it around kind of to get it, the, just kind of use the heat from my skin to um, kind of warm it up a little bit because it is fairly thick and pasty like. So when you put it under your eyes, it just has a tendency sometimes to kind of want to go into those lines and wrinkles. So beware if you do have a lot of lines and wrinkles under your eyes, you may want to test this out first in the store, walk around and then take a look at it. Because I have found that after about two hours of having this under my eyes, if I do look in the mirror, I can see where it is kind of starting to form those lines in my face and I kind of have to either go over it like this to kind of spread it out or add a little bit more of the corrector on top of my um, that area. So that's my only complaint about this. Other than that, it's a very natural looking coverage for under my eyes. I don't really look like raccoon-like or very ashy. I really do like it and it comes in so many different colors. Everybody is sure to find a color match for their eye area. So 
Let me get started and show you the photos and you can kind of get a little bit better idea of what you, what, you know, how you um, think the coverage is and whether you think it's something you might want to try. This first photo is a picture of the Bobbi Brown corrector. This is the color peach and you can kind of see a little bit of the pasty consistency in this photo of this corrector. This is a photo of my face with no makeup on other than maybe a little bit of lipstick so you can see the dark hyperpigmented area under my eyes. And now this is my face with full makeup on with the Bobbi Brown corrector on. You can still see just a touch of the dark area under my eyes, but it really does look very natural. And I think it does a really good job of covering up those circles.